Hi Floss Tube, hi Stitchy friends. Everybody's home and I'm doing a floss tube. Eee. Um, so I know it's been a little bit longer because uh, I've been out of town last weekend for um, a stitching meetup in E-Town. And um, you've probably seen that I got to meet Pam and Steph and Jerry, the Yankee Creek Stitcher. Um, there was actually some other floss tubers there that I didn't know. And I hate that I didn't get to meet them. Um, so maybe next time I will see if we can like maybe go around the room and tell our Instagram name, uh, maybe where we're from and whatever. Anyway, um, we had a great turnout. We had 35 people. Um, we did, a, we had a class, like a cube, no so cube finishing class from Katrina. She is a pajama stitcher and you probably know who she is, Katrina Boyd. Um, I don't think I said it is February 2nd, maybe? Anyway, so I have a lot to show you guys, but I'm gonna try to make it quick. Um, uh, I've been getting ready for the bluegrass stitching retreat. Um, we are doing our first annual um, retreat at Otter Creek Park. And I hope that we have fun and everybody enjoys it and we can make it an annual thing or see what everybody thinks about it. Um, so let's jump right in. So when I went to E-Town, one of the ladies there, Beth Wixon, um, she is one of Kathy Barrick's uh, model stitchers. She's a wonderful lady. I thank the world of her. She's so fun. Um, but she brought, uh, she makes project bags amongst other things. Um, so I bought two of her bags. Look at this. I love it. And of course I had to get this one because we have a new puppy in the house. And it's pink because we finally have a girl dog. And there's polka dots. And then, um, oh shoot, I don't have my notes. Um, I got this bag. I'll put it in the comments if I can't think of her name off the top of my head. Um, I got this bag from another girl in our group and she also sells these on stash and load um and i apologize deeply for not remembering i'm not good with names i'm good with faces kelly pruitt there you go see i'm good sometimes but these are great bags um and i got my uh garon totem bag in the mail this week, or, la or would be last week. Look how cute that is, and look at the inside. So mom and I are gonna try to get together and try mom and I are gonna try to get together and try to figure out how to make the envelope bags. So let's just go ahead and see what's in here, shall we? Okay, this is uh, linen and threads. Quaker Mystery Sow. I think it's called Friends and Family. I have been working on this. I almost got January done. I've made a mistake, but if you won't tell, I won't tell. Um, I'm loving this linen. It is summer khaki. And it is DMC thread. Love it. Um, I'm trying to get the number for you. It's 4237, and it is some of the uh, variation thread. So it's been a lot of fun to see the color change. So let's stack these up over here, shall we? Um, this is my travel bag. I take it with me. Um, in here is 
because you shall always be working on a Kathy Barrick piece. This is a law. My law. So I am getting really close. Look. You guys, I love this. How pretty is that? This is on Legacy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is this pattern here. Carriage House Samplings. I got it on the website. Um, these are the colors I'm using. I just picked some peacocky. That's a word. I said it last time. Um, threads and this travels with me. I work on it at lunch or in the car or um, anytime I get a chance. Um, I stuck some little freebie patterns in here. If I can find them. Here we go. So I want to make myself a name tag because we were asked to make a name tag. These are freebies. This one is from the Drawn Thread. You can find it on their website. This one is, I don't know how long we're supposed to show free patterns. Uh, the Victorian Sampler, this is also a freebie. And they give you the letters, put the name. So, I have been trying to figure out a way um, to make a little cute name tag. So, sorry. So, when we were at E-Town, somebody asked who, somebody asked someone else who I was. And somebody told them that my name was Stacy. So she didn't put it together that I'm Jennifer from Stitching in the Bluegrass. So I feel sad that I didn't get to meet her. Okay, this is a bag from Olivia. I told her, this is pumpkin hollow quilts. I told her stop making cute project bags or I'm gonna go broke. And in here, I started um, a sow with Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw. You know her, you love her. This is Stitch, if you want to play along, Stitch a Well Sow. Stitch. Stitch a Well Sow. And these are my colors. And this is where I've gotten, oh, uh, there we go. So on my clouds, I used two over two to make them look kind of fluffy. And the rest of the pattern, I'm stitching one over two. And I love the way this is turning out. Like, I don't want to put it down. I will show you what it looks like. This is the one that Pam and Steph had a giveaway for, for New Year's. And I didn't win it, but I went and bought it. Enablers, I'm on to you floss tubers. So, um, I got it in that Fabric is cedar plank, 32 count. And yes, I'm stitching one over two on 32 count because because I want to and I like the way it looks. And that's what we're told to do, right? Stitch what you like. So that's what I'm doing. Um, this is my Old Glory. I've been working on this for my September 11th tribute. 
I am so close to getting this done. This is 28 count Legacy. You guys, I'm so close. I need to just, just work on this and nothing else and get it done. I love it. So, I, I, I need to do that. This is another Garon tote and bag. Um, pumpkin hollow quilt bag. And I've been working on this one as well for my What Whip group. Um, my poor linen. I don't know. Yeah. So I got my cat done. And just the other day I got the bunny and the bird and the carrots and the duck finished. This is Nikki's Creations Animal Farm. And this is on, let's see if I wrote it down. I don't know if I did. But this is what it will look like. So I have here, here, and working here. And there's a pig, a sheep, and a rooster. And then the border. So I'm, this has like a green tint to it. I'm sorry, I can't remember what it was. Maybe tin roof. Sorry. Um, and sorry, there's gonna be crinkling. Today, I got another project bag from Olivia, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Bear with me. Mino plastic. Look, America and animals and dogs. Look how cute. I had to. It's so cute, guys. So, um, yeah, love that. Because I am a patriotic stitcher. I'm a military brat. I'm a proud American. I love my country. And that's that. Um, so at the stitch day, I told you that we learned how to make a no-sew cube. I posted this on my Instagram. Um, on Instagram, I'm Spunky Jen. So, but my mom found these cubes from the Dollar Tree, which they're a dollar, and she brought one for me, or two for me, and so we made our no-sew cubes on these. Okay, so I asked her, well, what if you're, you know, what if you have like a long one that you want to do a cube and she's like well honey just glue them together that way you don't have to worry about cutting the floral foam stuff and making a mess anyway you guys do what you want to do do what works best for you these were fun to do and easy if you have a little stitch um and here's my cube so i put a button on top and a little bit of lace and there's my little stitch and then here's the side and the back and then we put little feet on it so we took pins and put beads on them and then put the pins like that so you have a little how cute is that? And it was so easy. No so. What do you think? 
cute. So that's what we did with that. Um, so I got some more thread in for my um, for my Quaker style. I got a little spring guy from um, the whole stitch and caboodle honey bunny sampler. This is by Artful Offerings. I will probably leave the bunny just as he is, but I'll probably change the um, flowers to maybe blue-green. I'm not a big purple. Or like just something maybe a little bit brighter. Anyway, how I just love it. So I did get that. And I bought some Threadworks thread, which I'd never used before, but I thought I would try it. And I got these on Etsy at Ancora Crafts. But I thought these were really pretty. Um, you get this little guy, heart in hand, a little leprechaun. Um, I got my color and cotton. So I signed up for the fabric. Hold on, sorry, I'll take it. I'm sorry. This is called Camelot. It's like a, um, like a seafoam color. Very pretty. It's a 36 count linen is what I signed up for. Probably regretting that, but and here are my colors that I got. They're my favorite threads to use. Um, I did get a uh, mystery grab bag from Color and Cotton. So I don't know, I can't tell you what the colors are, but wow. How pretty is that? So I got a little piece there and a little prim piece. It's a lot darker than what it's showing up. Let's see if I do this. Mm, it's still a little bit darker, but anyway. And then I got this pretty, like, marbly white. So, I'm just trying to increase my stash a little bit with um, linen and Lugana. Um, Let's see, did I get any more fabric? I think that's all the fabric that I got. Um, I did get um, this wedding sampler that I would like to do for my husband and I. This is uh, from the heart. So I'm pretty excited to do that. We don't have a wedding sampler but we would. And I finally broke down through Jen McRae at the Whole Stitching Caboodle and I got some stockings. Blackbird Designs. So I got April. And I got January. And I can't wait to do these. They're going to be so tiny. This is February. So I'm going to have, there are instructions inside, which what I was wondering if um, they showed you like a pattern. And there is. Just so you know, because I did, I was, 
unaware if it would tell you dimensions and whatnots. Um, let's see. Stars Hollow Stitchery. I got this on their Etsy and I can't really show it, but it's um, X's and O's. See it? For Valentine's. Um, I got a free chart from Beth Twist that I found on her blog. Um, this was Thanksgiving last year and I don't, I missed it. It's just a black and white photo, but I did get that. And then Peppermint Purple is doing a black work sow that is free. Um, so they give you the grid and then it's all black work. But this is a free sow that they're hosting. Uh, you can, I found them on Facebook. And y'all, I got, I got a lot because it's been, it's been a little bit. Um, my sweet stitchy friend, Liz Matthews and her new pattern. And I cannot wait to see what comes out at market. This is the Nantucket sampler. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, and she did send me a sweet little card. Um, she has a floss tube, if you don't know. It's um, Hello hello from Liz Matthews. I think that's right. Um, on Stash and Loading, I think, I got this Bent Creek Stitching Row. I have not been able to find this, and I found, saw it pop up. So I snatched it. And I did print out um, several, like, I don't, I'm not going to show the free patterns. You can go and get free patterns on most of the websites. Um, I did print this out from, uh, this is Betty Glover, Hewitt Hill Samplers. Look at her with her feathers in her hat. She is darling. I love the colors. I don't think I would change anything about this one. So cute. Um, I made me some little papers to go into my project bags. So hopefully maybe I can keep up. So I did like a uh, project name, designer, uh, start date, finish date, fabric, stitch count, fabric size, design size, thread used, and notes. And I just did it on Excel. Um, that way I can try to keep track. And I just printed out some copies. Um, those are some freebies. I think all I have left is... So, um, my stitchy friend, Krista, she's in the Blue Crest Stitchers, she went to, um, a thrift store and she found some things for several of the girls in the group and she texted me and said, aren't you a Kathy Barrick fan? And I said, yes, yes, I am. So she found some patterns. Um, I don't know if I should tell you what she paid for these because I don't want to diss on Kathy Barrick because I would have paid more for these, but so I'm, I'm just going to leave that out. But I did find, or she did find these at the thrift store, very inexpensive. Ladies Garden Barrick Samplers.
so my whole point of this is to go to your thrift stores, guys. Some people, they don't know what they have. They don't, um, they don't know what to do with their old charts or grandmother past maybe, and they have cross stitching things and they take it to the thrift store because they don't want to cross stitch or, you know, whatever. Um, 1797 ship sampler. Oh, I don't know why it's glaring. I'm sorry. I love these so much. The mermaids, the mermaids song. I think I might have to put some shells on her because that's just me. Um, Fractor One Sampler. This is 1998. Uh, the Mermaid was 1999. Um, the Ship Sampler. I don't see a date. So, I'm not really sure. So, then, she found some Scarlet Letter Samplers. I'm going to take the price off. Um, I'm not taking these out of here yet. Um, this is the Red House Sampler. Um, a accurate reproduction of a Scottish sampler work between 1810 and 1820. This is 1986, the Scarlet Letter. the weirdest paper. How pretty is that? Um, this is another, I'm going to have to take this one out because it's in a weird Ziploc bag. Um, this one is another scarlet letter. It is called the Ideal Landscape Sampler. This is newer. This is 1991. It's still shiny because this is an actual photocopy, or fo not photocopy, but an actual photograph. And it looks like this was a kit. You guys, I'm holding in my hand a scarlet letter sampler. Um. 1991 and it, it was um, given it was worked up as a kit um, I don't know the date of the sampler okay I'll keep moving this is from Brenda Keys this is the sampler company um, I haven't taken these out either. It's like I'm scared to. I don't want to mess them up. But here's what it looks like. Look how cute. I'll have to be very careful with these when I start stitching. And this one is from the work basket. And this one actually has a name of the store where it was purchased. Persnickety Stitchers in Zionsville, Indiana. Um, 2005. A Stitch in Time. 
how gorgeous is that? <sighs> and one last one. So, um, this is The Good Housewife. And this is, I don't know the name, Sarah Cipher. I'm not taking this out either because I'm too scared. But it is Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And you guys, I owe Krista. <sighs> Thank you. So, there's that, that, that. Oh, and I got some sulky threads. Never tried these before. I got one for a bread sampler because Brenda and the cereal starter told me to. And I got some neutrals. And I got greens. Green's my favorite color. Um, and... I have one last thing to show you. I have a finish, which you've probably already seen on my Instagram, but I finished Farm Life. Ready for it? <gasps> you guys, I love this. I need to get this framed. Like, I love it so much. I love my donkey. I love my sheep. I love the pumpkins. And this is a sow that is still going on. Like, jump in. It's farm life sow. Um, Michelle McGraw is doing it. Um, Donna Martin is on there. Um, I think there's several other girls that have... Um, seen it and loved it and whatnot. Um, I don't think I have anything else. You guys know I have a new puppy, so I haven't been able to do a whole, whole lot. Um, so just getting ready for retreats and I'm also going to the, another retreat at, uh, Lake Cumberland in March. It should be lots of fun. Uh, my mom is going with me, of course, because I can't go without the mom. Um, so, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your team won the Super Bowl. If they didn't, I hope you enjoyed the commercials or the Puppy Bowl. Um, I guess that's all. I had a great time at the um, Stitch Me Up in E-Town meeting Pam and Steph. It was wonderful. They are truly beautiful souls inside and out like I was kind of nervous to meet them because I didn't know what to expect but they are just the sweetest people and you know no wonder everyone loves them um I had a great time of course Laura um she's the one that hosts the e-town group um she does a wonderful job we had a beautiful um display like brag table, I guess. Um, I did take a video of it and, um, I think I shared it on an Instagram story. So, um, wonderful stitchers, wonderful group of ladies, and I'm blessed to be a part of it. Um, thank you all again for coming back and I hope this video wasn't too rushed, but I had to do it, had to get it out there so I can get stitching. Um, you guys have a wonderful week, and hopefully I will see you just next week. So, bye guys!